and Joe Biden is doing that, created nine million jobs in his term in office. Donald Trump has the worst record of job loss of any president. So we just have to make sure people know. That was a global pandemic. He had the worst record of any president. We've had other concerns in our country. If you want to be an apologist for Donald Trump, that that may be your role, but it ain't mine. And I he don't has think the worst. That anybody can accuse and, me and of that. we no, but let, I mean, <laughs> Nancy Pelosi, everybody. <laughs> oh man, what's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Right. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. All right. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man. So this morning I had a big breakfast at the Waffle House. What? Yep, I had to get one of those awful waffles. And man, I was not satisfied. I just had this insatiable hunger inside of me today. I couldn't get it going. All right. So frustrated, I left the restaurant and I got on my TikTok feed and started scrolling and scrolling. And then I saw a video of the Hamas protesters coming after Democrats, especially Nancy Pelosi. Mm, 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 mm. I seen this video, man, and I was like, oh my God, this is so delicious. This is so satisfying. I'm looking at it. I'm like, mm, 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 licking my fingers. It was so delicious. This morsel here, right here. Poor Nancy. Oh my God. Karma, 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 karma chameleon, Nancy. Funny, funny stuff. There's another video of her sitting in the restaurant and a protester walked up on her and said this. Just you Nancy, can you tell us why we have all the $150 billion going to Ukraine? We have homeless on the streets in your own city. <laughs> Nancy, can I, can I get Thank some stock trading tips on how to get Thank semiconductors you. in Thank Taiwan? You. Nancy, Thank you. Nancy, Thank you. Nancy, why do we, is your son involved with Hunter Biden? Yeah, yeah, I love it. I remember a few years ago when Trump was the, the winner. And he just getting his foot in. We had senators like Maxine Waters will go around and telling people, if you see a MAGA folk, you get in their face and so you chase them out the restaurant and blah, 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 blah. Ta-da. If you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them. Let's go, Nancy. Yeah, they coming after you now. I love it. I love it. Now, you know how I used to say that um, Trump is a racist and Biden is not a racist. The other day, a few months ago, they had uh, the cold pink women are sitting at Nancy Pelosi because they want to talk to her peacefully. All right. So she was approached. And she says this. Hey, 
the both of your constituent black soldiers. Stop, stop the genocide. Stop the Holocaust. The Democrats want the ceasefire. The Democrats want the ceasefire. Yeah, that's Nancy Pelosi. Go back to China. Take your ass back to China, where you come from. Yeah. But of course, if this was a Republican, if this was especially if this is Donald Trump, man, it would have been all over the front page. But of course, this is Nancy Pelosi, and it's just old Nancy. She didn't mean that way. Right? Right. So whatever. But they're going all over. The schools are all over the place. The higher education, the uh the Ivy League, we have Harvard, we have Columbia. Columbia is funny to me because they have Ilar Omar, representative out of Minnesota. Her own daughter gets kicked out of Columbia because she's a loud mouth. Exactly. I mean, what does it say about our state of the, our society right now that the daughter of a sitting member of Congress is arrested at a pro-terror rally where she was amongst people who are chanting death to the Jews, death to America, who are saying we are Hamas. Right. But Nancy Pelosi goes there and she gets shot down at a college in San Francisco. Go. You want to listen or you want to shout? We fight the fight. As a, you don't. You, it's clear. It's clear. You don't want any answers. Just stop it now. Just stop it now. Just stop it now. Let's stop it now. Stop it. Look, I want to tell you something. You can. You. Can. Yeah. 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 Serves you right. Serves you right. Because I remember. Conservatives like Ann Coulter was scheduled to go to a campus and the students would come out and shot them down, fueled by you guys. But y'all say it's freedom of speech and the, 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 the kids have the right to do that. Now the pro Hamas folks, your peoples are in your face. And you think I'm going to come out there and try to say, Oh no, 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 I don't care. I really don't care. I think it's wonderful. Let it burn. I don't know about these colleges. Harvard, Columbia, even oh, Emory down right here. here. You can burn it down. I don't give a Trust me on that one. I don't care about none of that. I ain't got no student loans. I didn't go to college, so I don't have a dog in the fight. So, again, burn it down for all I care because it's all your fault. All you liberals, all you Democrats who took over just about every institution, sports, Hollywood, college they're all turning on y'all yeah good for you eat it eat it and what would you say is the main goal with tonight's uh protest i think the goal is just showing our support for palestine and demanding that nyu stops i honestly don't know okay. all of what nyu is doing is there something that nyu is doing i really don't oh. know i'm pretty sure they're do you know what nyu is doing oh, about israel why what? are we protesting here uh, palestine will be free I wish I was more educated. I'm not either. Oh. But that's one thing. But the meltdown of the day for me has to come from Mr. James Carville. This guy here. <laughs> the raging Cajun. Yeah. This guy. He, if y'all guys don't know him, he's the main character that helped Bill Clinton win his presidentship. All right. He had a famous line, uh, what is it? It's the economy, stupid, right? So 1992, that's all everybody was saying. That came from James Carville. No, you know, he's a, he's a smart guy. You know, he's he's entertaining. He have a deep southern Louisiana draw, I kind of like, you know. His politics is way out there, right? So the other day, he sees the poll that CNN put up that says that the young voters are going to vote for Trump. And so, of course, he he had to say something about it. He knows how to talk to the young folks. And so he says this. 
kidding me? Is this the United States of America? Is this the nation that was founded on the principle that no person is above the law? And then you tell these young people, if you don't get involved right now in this election, they're going to be involved in your life for the rest of your freaking life. And if Trump and Roberts and Alito and Gorsuch and Thomas and Leonard Leo and the Heritage Foundation, if they get a hold, there will be no government left. There will be no rights left. You'll live under theocracy. You'll end up Christian nationalism. But that's all right, you little fucking 26-year-old. You don't feel like the election's important to me. They're not addressing the issues that I care about. Well, the New York Times, Harvard, well, sorry about the Harvard Youth Poll, which is a pretty good, well-regarded thing, a guy named uh, John Delavope. And very recently, they gave youngsters the 10, 15 most important issues. Uh, clocking in at number 14 was student debt. You wouldn't know that if you read the fucking press. Number 15 was the issue of Palestine. High on the list was abortion, was interest rates, was housing affordability, were well, all of these other things. You are being insufficiently served by the commentariat, and to some extent you're being insufficiently served through democratic messages. So my advice to tell these young people to get off your motherfucking ass and go vote because you should vote like your entire future and the entire future of this United States depends on it because, quite frankly, it does. And that's not an exaggeration. <laughs> I love it, Mr. James. Mr. James is losing his mind. He's malfunctioning. Good. Good for you. Yeah. He popped his lid. See how he talked to you guys? You young folks? You voters under 26 and under? Yeah. I hope it inspired you guys. You know, because James Carville, he knows how to talk to you young folks. He's hip. He knows how to talk to you young guys, so... I hope this inspire you. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> anyway, thank you, James. Thank you, Nancy. Yeah, I made my day. I really love it. Thank you, guys. Ooh, Lordy. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys. I'll see you again. And all you pro Hamas knuckleheads, get off my lawn.